an ambitious conservation project bringing native animals back from the brink of extinction. It's in the form of the world's biggest cat-proof fence, being built 300 kilometres outside Alice Springs. Stephanie Zillman reports. This is Wall Pre Country, where for millennia traditional owners have lived on this land. It looks pristine, but in more recent times, feral animals have irrevocably changed its ecosystem. A slice of that land is New Haven Station, a conservation sanctuary where Christine Ellis Michael and her mother Alice are expert trackers. Inside this trap, it's good news. They've captured another feral cat. We got now 43 cats in this summer, last month and this month. The feral animals have proved an unbeatable predator against the region's small mammals. But now there's a cat-proof fence that lead scientist Dr John Konoski says is a lifeline for native species. There's about 10 to 20 species that will only survive in areas like we're establishing here at New Haven, but completely free of feral cats and foxes. The fence will protect animals like the rufous hare wallaby, which will become the first on a list of critically endangered species to be reintroduced to the central desert. We want those animals back where they used to be. It's important for the environment, it's important for the species, it's important culturally, it's important for conservation. Since 2017, the last remaining rufous hare wallabies in Australia, commonly known as Marla, have been awaiting their release from an enclosure at New Haven. First, they're caught from within their temporary home. Once they're deemed fit for release, they're given a vitamin tonic and fitted with a radio tracking device. We have a female in good condition. The New Haven team will be keeping a close eye on the Marla to make sure their plan is working. There is no technology that allows us to put these animals safely out into the landscape. So the fences are an interim step. They might be an interim step for 10 years or 20 years, um, but they're critical for saving these species. The Australian Wildlife Conservancy says once New Haven is complete, the site will be a feral-free area of up to 100,000 hectares. That's twice the size of Manhattan or all of Hong Kong. Take one over to our release site. On a cold desert night, New Haven is buzzing with activity. So this one is a female. Um, she has a pouch young. I think it's just a little jelly bean one, so it hasn't yet formed and it's still um, fused. After 12 years of painstaking planning, the time to release the mala has finally arrived. Bring her nose out so she goes when she's comfortable. And then just let her get to her thing. One after the other, staff release 30 healthy adult mala into New Haven's Spinifex sand plains. After a tentative few hops, the mala is on its way to repopulating a species many believed would be confined to history. That they'll actually be living in a space bigger than what their home range is. Um, so in a sense, it's, it's their return to the wild. Over the coming months, a further nine nationally threatened mammal species will be returned to New Haven and a landscape on its way to resembling pre-European settlement. We're in a situation where the population can start to increase so significantly that we'll have numbers of this animal again in Australia that we haven't seen for um, decades.